back drawing more of your OCs and the first OC here is actually the raffle winner from last raffle and if you want to join the raffle all I have to do is download the app which the link is in the description if you want to find it easily or you can just search flying pings on the app store or the play store or anything like that and you can enter the raffle and you can enter as many times as you want you'll see a number go up when you enter and you can pretty much rack that up for a better chance but it's not exactly easy because there's a lot of people entering so it does give you a better chance though so if you want to do that feel free and hopefully the app makes more sense now we added um well he added my friend benjamin who makes the app and does all the editing and all that he added this um it's a thing that is a little animation and it shows you when you enter a ticket before it didn't and people were really confused about that so hopefully it's a lot easier to understand anyway the first um raffle winner is i sweet sophia from instagram and they have this oc which is absolutely adorable i love the bangs and let me read their bio they sent me um they say my oc doesn't have a name yet i was thinking i could get some help with that oh no I, you guys know i'm bad with names i'm so bad at coming over names okay wait and they say more here um she likes to sing garden and swim her eyes are ruby red she likes quiet things um if she's one if you want to add anything feel free it makes it more interesting oh no <laughs> add things okay oh my gosh i am so bad at names okay i love making up characters and i love making up names but for me I have this obsession with trying to make names as unique as possible, which is a big problem because obviously if you don't have some names that are normal sounding, everyone's going to sound like a really weird name in your story. So I try to have some normal names mixed in with some weird names. So the weird names actually sound weird and don't just sound like everyone has those weird names. You know what I mean? I, I hope that makes sense. But <laughs> for this character, I'm not entirely sure what I would name her. I love the name Bo for a girl. Just B-O. B-O. <laughs> Body odor. No, Bo. I love that name for a girl and I think it's super cute. I also, for some reason, like it when you use like guy names but then use them for a girl. I don't know. It, it's unique and cool. So you could do something like that. But for adding other things to the character, I have no idea. Uh, she looks like she'd be very spunky and maybe she would probably be more toned than I made her. Now that I look at the character, I probably would give her, if I was adding something, more muscle. Next up here is a commission from Echo Jin on Instagram. I realize a lot of people have Instagram. <laughs> and they're OCs. Let me read the bio because it's really long. Jinno is 17 and a half years old. Despite his young age, Jinno he has a strong sense of duty and responsibility he acts as a sage like figure for echo giving her helpful advice and tips when handling enemies his personality is strongly based on his confidence and his attitude i'm reading this really fast i'm sorry and i can't read he has more more of a defiant heroic attitude despite his intimidating attitude he's actually very kind he even panics when echo is badly injured when he's not guarding lady vesta he enjoys eating a variety of japanese food and snacks his favorite is onigiri he always shares his food with his bird friend, Sasha. Echo is 15 years old. Echo deeply values her ties with loved ones, but she doesn't talk very much. But being the very stereotypical silent pr protagonist, protagonist, I can't read today. I'm sorry. She shows brave, bravery, compassion, and determination. She would even go as far as to save others that are, that are her enemies. Sorry, I cannot read. Despite being a standard hero, she acts very quiet, childish sometimes. Um, she enjoys exploring new locations and climbing anything that's taller than her. She also enjoys playing with her pants flute, being dexterous. De dexterous. Oh my gosh, my reading. Echo can quickly understand the complex mecha mechanics behind things or figure out an opponent's weakness or to use against them so yes she's smart and quiet and he is brave and i don't know more boisterous more loud i suppose i'm sorry my reading is so bad i have cannot read very well especially out loud like if i'm reading in my head i'm good i can read anything just in my head but when i try to say it out loud i fail miserably and you could probably notice i know a lot of people have that problem i know last time i said this all the comments are like i have that same problem i have so much trouble reading aloud and that's my problem. I, I love I'm I'm trying to read bios on my YouTube channel and I'm really bad at it. But I love this I love these characters. These characters are absolutely adorable. They just look so cute and cozy. The the tunic on um Jinno reminds me of Legend of Zelda, you know, like Link. He has that like 
little cap. And it reminds me of that. But I love his ears. I think the ears are super cute and fluffy. And I, I'm obsessed with cute things. Next up here is another winner. It's um Emily's Emily's Art 456. And this OC, what it stood out to me was the colors. I love the colors so much. I love the blues, and I love the pink, and I love the eyes. They're just so cute, and they stood out to me so much. And they have a little bio here, so let me read this. Okay, so this is Carrie. She loves the color pink and blue. She secretly likes video games and sports, but her friends just think that she's girly. She likes girly stuff. She is 16. That's all it says about her. So I think it's so cute that this character is just simple. It's a realistic, it's more like a real person and there's not much to it. But I, I like, I like that. I like the simplicity of it and it just makes it simple and cute and cool. There's not a big story behind her though. So I always love knowing people's stories. So I do wonder what her story is. Sometimes people's stories are actually just normal though. Like there isn't always some tragic thing, but who knows? It's always nice to know about characters and I would be interested to know more about her. But I think she's super cute. That's why I wanted to draw her. Like I said, the winners, the ones that say winner in the bottom left are the ones that I chose like normal. I went into the comments of the YouTube video. I went on Instagram. I went on DeviantArt. I, I did all that stuff to find um, which ones I wanted to draw. So it was kind of like I picked them. That's the normal winner. If it says commission in the bottom left, that means they paid for a drawing to be guaranteed. You can do that by checking out the description. There's a commission link. And that's where you can go to commission me to guarantee yourself a drawing. And if it says raffle winner in the bottom left, that means they won the raffle on the app, which is 100% random, which was so weird for me because I've never drawn something that's uh, I agreed to drawing it before even seeing it before. So it was really, it was really interesting. It was kind of like a commission, only I didn't see it before at all. So it was, it was interesting and I had a lot of fun with that. And I'm excited for the next raffle and stuff. So make sure you guys go enter if you can. I know some people can't get it because they have like older devices and it crashes. So, but we're working on that and hopefully it won't crash. But now it does count up how many entries you have. So if you enter, you can enter again and again and try to fix your chance, make your chances a little better. But hopefully that works out and I'm excited to see how that goes. But this character, like I said, is adorable. I wasn't sure if the skirt should be like um, one of the pleated skirts or if it should be like a really flowy skirt. So I just kind of went with whatever I thought. So I did just make it look like a school skirt, like, you know, like anime schoolgirl sort of skirt. It's really short. <laughs> I guess most schoolgirls wouldn't wear a skirt that short, but you know. Next up here is um, Valeria the Artist 5588 on Instagram. Another Instagram. Even if I go to the YouTube comments, a lot of you guys use Instagram for your entries. So that's why most of them are Instagram, because even if I check the YouTube comments, I'm still going to get lots of Instagram. Um, they have, I don't know if they have a bio. Let me read this. This is what it says. This is one of my OCs, and I don't have a story or a name for this little guy. Hashtag playing pings, draw my OC. So there's no name, and that, that's it. But it's cute. This is their OC, and that's the interesting thing. The, two of these OCs from this time don't have names, though. One of them was asked of me to try and make up a name, even though I'm really bad at that. <laughs> but this one, I, I this one doesn't even have a name yet, so it's probably a new OC that she hasn't even made up anything for. I hope she does make up a name for it because I'm really interested to see what she calls it. It's super cute. What I think is really unique is how the iris in the eye has like two irises attached and I think that's really cute. I don't know why. That's why I really want to draw it. It reminds me of Bomberman. Okay, not Bomberman. Maybe more like a toad from like Mario. I don't know. What is it reminding me of? Maybe it just looks like a Tic Tac if it came to life. Yeah, that's probably the most accurate, but it, it, it looks so odd and strange. I had to draw it. Anyway, that's all of them for this time. If you want to get a free drawing, you can either comment a link to your drawing in the comments, post it to Instagram or DeviantArt using hashtag flying pings, or get the app and have a chance to win the raffle, which is 100% random and has nothing to do with what I look at or what I pick. So it's completely random if you join the raffle and that's cool. And I've rarely done this, but I finally finished one of the raffle winners, so I'm excited about that. So we're going to be moving on to the next one soon. I think um, it's going to be ending tonight, the next raffle, and then it'll end probably again next Sunday night or Monday, something like that. So thank you guys so much for watching.